Xbox One players, are you in need of a new controller and you want to make sure that the Xbox Series X controller will work with that Xbox One console that you have? Then make sure you watch this video to find out. Welcome back everybody, my name is Wayne and thank you so much for being here. So you may have seen my previous video where I discussed whether you should and or can keep your Xbox One controllers to play with your Series X. But what if you are still on the Xbox One and you need a new controller, what should you do? Should you go buy an Xbox One controller or can you go ahead and upgrade to the Xbox Series X controller? Well, the decision is up to you, but I'll help you to decide on what is the right option for you. So now the first thing we need to know and the point of this video is whether the Series X controller will even work with the Xbox One and the very quick answer is absolutely <laughs> yes it will. Microsoft as you can see here has confirmed that the Xbox Series X controller will work with a multitude of devices including the Xbox One. Yeah! Now, one of the most important features of purchasing the new Xbox Series X controller uh, for your next purchase is the DLI or the Dynamic Latency Input. And basically what that means is the original Xbox One controllers have an input latency of about eight milliseconds. And with the new Xbox Series X controllers, they're going to significantly increase that value. However, the downside to that, it doesn't look like this is going to be usable on the Xbox One. In fact, the statement here does show that the Xbox One controllers will get this new DLI update as well, but it will only work when they're connected to the Series X uh, console. So that makes me believe that the feature on the Series X controller will also not work on the Xbox One. This feature will only work with the upgraded software and systems on the Series X. Okay, and so there also are a couple other benefits of using the Series X controller over the Xbox One. And one of those is the fact that it does have the share button right here. And I did just verify that on my Xbox One X, not the Series X, but the One X, um, if I utilize the share button, it actually does work as well. I took a screenshot, but then I also did a screen recording uh, of a quick little game from my son playing at the time. And both of those did end up working by using the share button. As well, if you take a look at the Xbox Series X controller, you all also notice a few other little just design features that they've changed. And one of those is they did in fact, when they designed this new Series X controller have the hands of an eight year old apparently. And so the controller is designed to fit a wider variety of hands. So if you have smaller hands like me, or if you have larger hands, everything should still feel just a little bit more comfortable than the previous Xbox One controller. Uh, one of the nice features too is the buttons on the top. Uh, did get a little bit maybe smaller and, and definitely a little bit more rounded. And as well, um, you can see on the grip here, on the triggers, there's actually a little bit of texture there that wasn't there before, which could just kind of give you a little bit more of a feel to the controller and hold it in your hands. And then lastly, the pads back here, while it's still plastic, um, it does have a little texture to it as well, which seems to just kind of help with that grip. And then the last nice thing is if you buy the Series X controller, you're already kind of ahead of the game. You don't have to then go out and buy a new Series X controller at that point. Granted, as I said in my other video, you can still use the Xbox One controller. So it's not an absolute necessity to go out and buy this right now if you're not looking for an Xbox Series X upgrade immediately. And, but you do need that controller. You can really go either way. I would imagine you would want to decide between the new features on the Series X controller and or what the cost would be at the time that you're looking at buying them. Now, if you just bought a new Xbox Series X and you have a ton of games that you wanna transfer over from your Xbox One to your new Series X, then make sure you check out this video right here where I show you why you should hang on to that external hard drive and use it with your Xbox Series X. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.